Hey guys, Dan here with another book review. This time we're reviewing Future Home of the Living God by Luis Erdrich. I'm not 100% positive that I'm pronouncing the author's name correctly, but this is a dystopian thriller. It is adult fiction, uh, published in 2017. Now, I came upon this book from some, like, end-of-the-world, like, book list about end-of-the-world books, and it was on that list. I kind of read the short uh, summary about it, and I was like, yeah, that sounds kind of interesting. I'll have to check that out. So I just recently, because I sometimes randomly select books that I'm going to read from my TBR, and this was one of them. Now, this isn't a very long book. Um, it was pretty short. I kind of took my time going through it. Um, it's about a main... The main character is Cedar Songmaker. She's adopted, and she's Ojibwe, Native American. And it takes place in a world... What makes it a dystopian... As that, for some reason, they just keep repeating that they don't know why. They don't know why this is happening. But, like, things in the environment, like animals and people, are when they, if they can reproduce, and they manage to produce offspring, that offspring will be the next step backwards in evolution. So... People are de-evolving, if that makes any sense. And, uh, yeah, and it's not just that, but I guess there is religious groups taking over the government. So it kind of, it kind of had, like, at times, it kind of felt like heavily borrowing, like, from The Handmaid's Tale, which I have to admit, I have yet to read The Handmaid's Tale. I, I own the book. It's sitting on my shelf, but I have yet to read it. I've only watched the Hulu um, adaptation of that. And I have to say that this book feels like it's heavily borrowing from that plot because it seems very similar at times when I was reading this. Also, um, I don't know why the author chose the title that she did. The fu uh, Future Home of the Living God. Because the only reference to this title is a billboard when she goes to visit her birth mom. And that was probably the most interesting aspect of this book. Um, I found the, the relationship she has with her birth family, um, the Ojibwe's on the reservation. I found that to be the most interesting aspect of this book. Um, considering that the rest of it felt kind of borrowed from other books, that was like the best part of it. I kind of, um, at times, the author's not 100% Native American. She says in her, her biography that her mother is half and half, like half French American and half Ojibwe, and her father is German. So she's like a quarter Native American or whatnot. But I do get the impression from reading the dialogue. And the dialogue at times, it, like I said, it was from Cedar Songmaker's perspective. And sometimes they're like journal entries because she'll have the date. And then she'll have an entry to her unborn child. And I like the, the, the way she talks kind of reminds me of Sherman Alexei's um, writing, if you're not familiar with him. Um... Lone Ranger and Tonto Fistfight in Heaven is one of his most famous books. But her, her writing kind of reminds me of his writing at times when she's talking like that, like from her perspective or whatnot. I do have to admit, like, I read the introduction and the author kind of said this was like a book she was working on for years. Like, she made it seem like this was like a work in progress that took a very long time to come up with. But to be honest with you, upon reading it, I didn't really get that feel. Um, I kind of get this feel that it was kind of slapdash, kind of put together haphazardly. Um, some of the events just kind of fly by with no real interpretation as to what happened. Um, no setup for what for the stuff that's going on. There's no real build to it. It just kind of happens day to day, different events, and then there's never really any further like in-depth, like, explanation for why 
the world is de-evolving. So, like, I have to be um, completely honest with you guys. I did enjoy this mostly for the way, you know, the, um, the familial relationship that she has with her birth family. And the fact that it kind of reminded me of Sherman Alexei's writings... I do, I do know that this author does have other books that are centered on being Native American. And I heard she's a really good author. So that's making me want to go check out those books. Now, as a dystopian, this was rather weak. Rather weak. I decided to only rate this 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I thought it was just okay. It's an okay read. Um, it does open the door to you know going and checking out her other writings, which I think might be better than what this one had been. I just, like I said, I just thought it was just okay. It could have been much better. Um, if she was really working on this for years, she could have developed the, the plot a little bit more. Like I said, it felt really slapdash with the way it was put together. Of course, as always, I will have a link down below if you'd like to pick up a copy of this for yourselves. U.S., U.K., and Canada. That Amazon link should work for you. U.K. and Canada, I don't know 100% that it's going to work. If it does not work, and for all others, I have um, a book depository link. You get free worldwide shipping. They also offer great discounts there. So if you want to purchase this book or any other books by this author or any books in general, go ahead and do so through that book depository link. I appreciate any and all people who have purchased books through these links. It greatly helps out my channel as I'm not getting ads since I have the views. I just don't have the subscribers. Right now, I'm too currently, as this day, I have 506 subscribers. I need 1,000 subscribers to be able to reapply for AdSense. Yeah, so it is what it is. <laughs> if you came here looking for more book reviews. I also do comic book graphic novel reviews too. I want to mention that before you go ahead and hit that subscription button. If you're looking for reviews, go ahead and hit that subscriber button. While you're there, hit that notification bell so you're aware of when I upload a new video. That's all I got for you regarding this book. I'm going to go quickly film a comic book review right after this. It's going to be a twofer. Thanks for watching guys. Till next time, I'll be geeking out.